Hello everyone, Sherman Cena here, and today I'm showing you why it is not safe to use FTP without encryption. Now, um, how I'm going to demonstrate this is we're going to set up a scenario. We're going to have this particular machine, that is my virtual Windows XP machine, going to connect to uh, my FTP server. We're going to transfer a file, and I'll show you with three pieces of software how we can make this all happen. So what what we're going to do first of all is we're going to launch Wireshark okay let's start recording on the Wireshark okay so now I'm going to connect to an FTP client I uh, sorry an FTP server Now let's let's go ahead and upload a file to an FTP server. That yeah, seems legit. Okay, transferred it. And now let's stop the record. We'll save it. Okay, so I've saved my, now we saved the PCAP file to FTP capture. Okay, next piece of software we're going to use is a really cool app that you should familiar yourselves with if you're uh, wanting a cool network security tool, which is called Network Miner. I have version 1.5, I believe version 1.6 is the latest. Um, this is a free app that basically you can run PCAP files through and they'll decode the PCAP files into certain categories, which is a really cool app. Uh, really cool app, and there's a really cool uh, two really cool features. One, it actually detects network anomalies, which is pretty cool. And two, we're able to get the files and images that were transferred, um, which is cool. And then there's another one where we can actually see credentials that are passed through in clear text. Okay, so let's open up the FTP capture. Okay, now we see that there was a uh, transaction between 10.0.2.15 and 192.168.1.2. Okay, so next, we can go click files. We see that there's a file transferred. Okay, let's right if you right click, click open file, bingo. Here's the file that was transferred over. Okay, because it was transferred in clear text we see everything that was passed. Okay. You can even see credentials, which I'm not going to click there, but you can explore that your own, on your own. And uh, then we even see sessions that took place, which we already know basically what happened here. We could see, obviously we know source port 21 going uh, to a destination port 49940. Okay, so all in all, pretty cool app. However, this is has a point to illustrate to you that unsecured protocols such as FTP, Telnet, Pop, SMTP, all of those apps should not, uh, all those protocols should not be used in any production network, even at your home. Uh, internally, I would not recommend using any type of un unencrypted protocol. Uh, very simple to set up uh, encryption and um, it's this is not an attack that should not be no longer be successful these should be uh, obsolete attacks if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below and if you have any suggestions for any new videos or anything you'd like me to cover please also leave that you can also visit my website www.seanmancini.com thank you for watching